Hey friends, I'm glad you came to join us again. I don't know about you, but I find it scary sometimes when I watch my kids and how they act towards each other. Often they mirror the way I act and speak. I remember getting frustrated with one of them when they angrily snapped at their sibling because they were getting annoyed. My wife gently told me that their behavior was a reflection of my own. A few weeks later, I caught myself uh, harshly speaking towards one of my children because I was frustrated. Wouldn't you know it, my wife's encouraging words to me echoed loud in my ears. I had to apologize for my behavior and then I would learn to treat them with more respect. In the months that followed, I noticed that my child's attitude and speech also improved. Children don't learn to love and obey God just by what I say. They learn so much by watching what I do. And according to Deuteronomy 6 verse 7, it's not enough for them to discover how to act and behave as they grow up. My responsibility as a parent is to teach them constantly about God and his word. We're to do that as we, quote, sit in our house, when we walk by the way, when we lie down and when we rise up. Even more than what we say, our children need to see an example of love and obedience to the Lord. Listen, I'm not a perfect parent, but our kids need to see our desire to please the Lord. And when we fall short, they need to see our repentance. We teach them by what we say and by what we do. I really am glad that you took this time to join me today. When you have a moment, take a look at what God's word says in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 1 to 9. And when you catch yourself acting a little bit like I did, ask your child for forgiveness and teach your children the way that they should go. Thanks for joining in today. By the way, remember, we really are better together.